A hearty welcome, my fantastic fox. This is Harshi, your science buddy. Today we are going to study the last chapter, chapter number eleven. Air around us of your course book, Science Horizon, Class Six, a knowledge series by Amit Publishing House. So, under this chapter, we are going to cover the topics. Air is present everywhere. What is its atmosphere? The composition of the air. Air present in soil as well. Air present in water. How is oxygen replaced in the atmosphere? And the last uses of air. So let's begin with it. Air is the mixture of gases. It is not a pure substance. Pure substance means only one kind of a substance is there. Air is the mixture of gases. We cannot see air without. It is present everywhere. It is present everywhere but we cannot see it. We can only feel it. All living things need air for what? For their survival. Why we need it? It is necessary for breathing. Yes. We can stay without food. We can stay without water for few hours, for few days. Why? But we cannot say without breathing for minutes even. For a minute even, right? So, we need air for breathing. All living things need it. Not only human beings, plants also need it. Animals also need it. No living thing can survive without air. We can live with this water, air and food. We've gone through this. Although we cannot see the air, we can certainly feel its present. When it starts, the moving air, we call it wind. We have already studied about this thing in the Junior classes also. Now, moving air makes the cloth hanging on ropes sway, right? We'll find when wind is blowing, wind is what? Wind is the, when air is moving, it is called wind. And you can see it when wind is there, the clothes that are hanging on rope, it's Sway. Kilte hai toh hai pata chal jata hai. Ki wind beh rahi hai. Air is there. Wind is blowing. Blowing air shakes the leaves and the branches of tree in garden. You will see the trees, the branches, the leaves are shaking when wind is blowing. These are some ways that you can Feel the air, right? When the fan is switched on, the pages of an open blue book, it flutters because of the moving air. When you switch on the fan, you can see the book is open and the pages are fluttering. So it flutters because of the air only. Moving air makes it possible for you to fly kites. If you are flying a kite, if, air is, if there is no air, no wind, so it is not possible to fly the kite, right? And you can separate husk from grains of sawdust and sand by the process of winnowing. We all know what is winnowing, right? So, for the winnowing process, we need air and it is very easy and effective. The noise is effective when wind is blowing. So, these are some methods that you can see. Uh, you cannot see even, you can feel the presence of air. Now, the next one is during storm, the wind blowing at very high speed. And many uprooted trees and blow off the rooftops of the houses and factories. So, storm can cause 
the damages also right it can damage the roof tops it can uproot the trees right so we can say that moving air is strong and it is what it is destructive also right so now we know what is air air is present in you but we cannot see it we can feel it i have uh, told you many ways by which the presence of air can be felt now the properties of air we can see through the air because it is transparent we all are aware what is transparent what is translucent and what is opaque we are already familiar with these terms so air is transparent we can see through it because it is allowing us the it is not allowing us it is allowing the a uh, the light to pass through it that is why it is called transparent and we are able to see through it otherwise kya hota agar ye transparent nahi hoti to hum logo ko kuch dikhta nahi kyunki agar ye translucent ya opaque hoti air to hame kuch bhi nahi dikhta kyunki air to har jagah hai na it is present everywhere to agar air nahi hoti to kya hota bachcho hum kuch nahi dekh pate because वो ट्रांसलूसेंट अगर ट्रांसलूसेंट होती तो धुला धुला दिखता अगर ओपेक होती तो कुछ नहीं दिखता एयर इज ट्रांसपेरेंट सो दैट इज वाई वी आर एबल टू सी टू इट सो एयर फिल्स द स्पेस दिस इज द प्रॉपर्टी अवेलेबल टू इट सिंस एयर इज अ गैसियस सब्सटैंस इट इज द फॉर्म ऑफ गैस राइट इट इज अ गैसियस सब्सटैंस सो वी कैन फिल इट right and it fills the spaces right we have seen in the junior classes that when you uh, blow air into a balloon so it changes its sizes we can say that it changes the uh, size and shape of an object because it is air is filled inside it we cannot see it you can see the present it fills the space we can compress it easily it is not possible to compress it like now but if the uh, air is filled in balloon in tires swimming tubes right if you press it you can compress it when we fill air in bicycle tube or in a football using pump we actually compress the air that important properties of air now we will discuss in detail air is colorless you will not find any color of the air it is transparent right transparent means no mixture no other color is mixed it is tasteless and odorless you will not uh, <coughs> you will not uh, if you taste it you will not uh, get any kind of taste out of it and it is odorless even but there are some conditions if impurities are mixed like smoke then dust it gets polluted and tasteless it is there and the odor there are some gases like the carbon dioxide it is sour in taste yes it is sour in taste odorless gas means if you spray uh, if you are in room you are spraying perfume and you are spraying room freshness then you will get the fragrance out of it but it is the temporary arrangement else the air is tasteless odorless and colorless air has mass mass means weight if a balloon which is empty and you have a balloon in which air is filled if you keep them on weighing machine you'll see the weight it, uh, the weight is different the balloon which is filled with air is heavier than the balloon which is empty right so you, you can say that it has weight air occupies space right it takes space it occupies space we have seen the example of balloon air dissolved in water it gets dissolved in water that is why it uh, the marine life the aquatic life is present animals the creatures is able to survive in water 
air can be compressed easily so these are some properties of air now air present everywhere how we know this air is present everywhere around us though we cannot see it but we can feel it even those containers that are empty you have a empty glass here you have a empty bottle empty mug actually these containers are not empty if you see it it is having air in it it is filled with air so containers and vessels which appear to be empty to us actually it is filled with air so you cannot say these are empty these are filled with air for example an empty bottle is not really empty but if you turn the empty bottle upside down still air remains in it because air is present everywhere right now atmosphere we live on planet earth our earth is surrounded by thin layer of air which extends up to many kilometers above the surface of the earth which is called atmosphere now you all must know that what is atmosphere you must have studied about this atmosphere in the junior classes too atmosphere is the layer of gases it is a layer mixture of gases right that surrounds the earth is known as atmosphere we live within the atmosphere remember this we are within the atmosphere of the earth atmosphere is essential for life because breathing is possible only just because of the atmosphere or with the air the air in the atmosphere provides us oxygen gas oxygen is the component of air as we are saying we are using this term that air is the mixture of gases so oxygen is one of them right so oxygen is needed we don't need all the gases but oxygen is essential for breathing we are breathing in oxygen and giving out carbon dioxide so in breathing oxygen is must so we uh, go higher in the atmosphere the amount of air become less and less and because of this mountaineers take oxygen cylinder along with them when they are going on the high mountain why this happens because the amount of the amount of air is less when we are moving in upward direction the layer of air at the top of very high mountain is thin because it does not have enough oxygen in it so that is why they carry oxygen cylinders to survive on high mountains now composition of air is the next topic we know that the air is a gas but it is not purest form of gas means it is a mixture of gases for a long time people thought that air was just a one single substance means pure substance now the experiments have proved that it is not in actual it is a mixture of many gases into it the major component of air is nitrogen yes it is approximately 78% of air is nitrogen the second major component of air is oxygen right it is oxygen near about 21% is oxygen in addition to nitrogen and oxygen gases air also contains small amount of carbon dioxide gas water vapor and some other gases like helium argon neon etc so how much percentage it would be 78 and nine so around 1% of the air it has carbon dioxide in it right carbon dioxide it has water vapors it has argon neon helium etc right so air may but 
we are talking about the carbon dioxide the percentage of carbon dioxide I, i'll discuss you the later on so contains air also contains some dust particle too we can now describe the component uh, composition of air as follows how air is the mainly mixture of nitrogen as and oxygen the percentage of nitrogen and oxygen is more only 1% is carbon dioxide gas water vapors and other gases like helium argon neon etc so composition of air in terms of percentage is written here i already told you nitrogen is contributing around 78% of air 78 you can see in this diagram 71% the blue part is contributing more right so 78% is nitrogen only this green part is the oxygen it is 21% oxygen is present on earth and this yellow one this part you can see 1% this is the yellow part right so yellow part means 1% only 78 plus 21 is 99% and only 1% that has carbon dioxide water vapor and other gases and it also has this particle in its place right so 1% is contribution of carbon dioxide water vapor dust and argon helium neon etc but this is actually the ideal percentage but nowadays because of the air pollution this is the 1% is getting increased and because of this the carbon dioxide and other gases which are not good for us getting increased by this so this is the ideal composition of air right now the composition of air is not always exactly the same right it changes slightly from place to place and season to season we will see how it gets changed for example air contains more water vapor in the rainy season right in rainy season when precipitation is there we all know the water cycle uh evaporation condensation precipitation right so in rainy season when uh, rainfall is there so water vapor the amount of water vapor is more right the air in coastal areas what all are coastal areas the areas that are lying uh, beside the uh, along with the uh, sea right these are known as coastal areas may we have some more water vapor in it as compared to the land areas means plains the air over industrial cities usually has a higher amount of carbon dioxide in it where the factories are established that place must be receiving more amount of impurities right carbon dioxide is a impurity obviously and air upon a as compared to the air which is in the plain areas means the areas the places that don't have any industry in it similarly the amount of dust particles in the air is more windy places than the other places like when there is a construction going on and wind is blowing so it must be having more dust particles as compared to the areas like mountains like you always find the fresh air when you move to the greenery places the places that have more greenery more plants right you'll find you'll get the fresh air now we will discuss the components of air in detail right nitrogen it is contributing uh, most yes 78% of air is having nitrogen and nitrogen is now we will learn about nitrogen properties nitrogen is 
colorless tasteless and odorless gas right we are now studying the components of air means the mixture of gases that surrounds us in atmosphere and nitrogen is contributing most which is 78% of atmosphere right it is tasteless colorless or odorless gas nitrogen gas is slightly soluble in water i am saying slightly it is not completely dissolved in water it is slightly soluble you all know what is soluble the substances that gets dissolved in water are non soluble dissolved in water and other liquids are known as soluble so it is slightly soluble it is not essential for breathing or no and respiration well kids there is a difference between breathing and respiration breathing includes only inhaling and exhaling when we are inhaling oxygen we are exhaling carbon dioxide this is only the breathing but what is respiration when we inhale oxygen goes inside our body and it do it does uh, some chemical reaction uh, that takes place because of the oxygen so this chemical reaction which is being taking place in our body because of the oxygen and this is known as respiration and actually what happens when we breathe in oxygen we will uh, study about this process in the higher classes what is the respiration in the respiratory system when we breathe in just the brief idea which i am giving to you right now this is the extra information uh, when we breathe in the oxygen it goes inside our body and it reacts with glucose the food that we eat is digested in the form of glucose only it gets break into water energy and carbon dioxide and that carbon dioxide we exhale so this process is known as respiration so breathing and respiration are two different processes all together right so nitrogen gas neither burns itself nor support the process of burning that means nitrogen does not support combustion now combustion means the process of burning if it is burning means nitrogen if it is neither it is contributing in burning nor it is getting burned right so nitrogen is totally separated or away from it अदरवाइज क्या होता अगर 78% परसेंट हमारे एटमोस्फेयर में नाइट्रोजन है अगर ये हेल्प करती बर्न करने में तो सब कुछ जल गया होता इमेजिन दैट 78% परसेंट ऑफ एटमोस्फेयर ऑफ आर एटमोस्फेयर हैज नाइट्रोजन अगर नाइट्रोजन बर्निंग गैस होती तो क्या होता इमेजिन राइट so it is not contributing neither it is contributing in combustion the burning process is known as combustion jo cheez jal rahi hai wo combustion so neither it is contributing in combustion nor it is uh, uh, like it is uh, neither it is contributing and nor it is combusting on its own na to wo kuch jalti hai aur na wo jalane mein madad karti hai so this is known as combustion so we know now nitrogen is colorless tasteless and odorless gas and it is not needed for breathing even right and it is not a combustion this is not a combust helping in combustion right so nitrogen gas is important for living things all living things need nitrogen compound for their growth it is still needed by us why it is needed the plants use nitrogen gas of air to make proteins so nitrogen is must for making the proteins 
when the plants where the food like the pulses that we, we get pulses from plants and other cereals vegetables fruits etc so they are rich in protein and how we are getting when we consume it we will get the protein right and how we are getting this protein because of the plants only and plants are making proteins or uh, this is nutrient this nutrient because of the nitrogen only so nitrogen is needed for the making of proteins right so these proteins are used by the plants for their own growth as well as for others for the growth of human beings and other animals when we consume these products not products when we consume these uh, vegetables food items right human and animals as well we get this protein and plants are making protein because of the nitrogen only so the nitrogen is needed by plants to make protein this is important it can be asked in one mark question why nitrogen is needed although nitrogen is colorless tasteless and odorless it is not contributing in combustion it is not needed in uh, needed by us in breathing right still it is very important and it is 78% of our atmosphere because plants are using it for making the protein and when we eat the food items that we get from the plants we get the protein from it right are we all clear very good now we will discuss the next component which is oxygen oxygen is again colorless tasteless and odorless gas it is slightly soluble in water not completely slightly i already told you the soluble oxygen gas is essential for breathing i told you the difference between the oxygen and respiration also right so oxygen is needed for breathing to take in breathing and then chemical changes happens in our body the respiratory system and carbon dioxide is generated water is generated and carbon and the uh, carbon dioxide water and energy and we use this energy for the different activities and we exhale the carbon dioxide we can live for several days without food water but we will die soon without oxygen so oxygen is important for the living beings right oxygen gas does not burn itself but it allows other things to burn it but i will not burn it but i will burn it all sort of it is not burning itself but it is helping in burning the things without oxygen nothing can be burned remember this so oxygen is supporter of combustion oxygen is also necessary for the process of burning of fuels such as wood coal kerosene petrol lpg the oxygen supports life and combustion so this is the uh, property of oxygen it contributes around 28% of our atmosphere it is helping in burning the thing it is not burning itself jab bhi hum kuch jalayenge oxygen burn nahi hoti hai but oxygen cheezon ko burn karne mein zaruri hai it is important it is a supporter of combustion process now next we will discuss the carbon dioxide although few percentages of carbon dioxide ideally it must be 0.03 percent out of 1 percent right 1 percent is there only for other gases and the, in this 1 percent the water vapors dust impurities carbon dioxide argon neon some other gases are there right so roughly 0.03% is the contribution of carbon dioxide but this is the ideal uh, ideal uh, contribution nowadays the air is getting polluted it is having more percentage of carbon dioxide and we are breathing in the impure 
air. So carbon dioxide is again colorless and odorless, but it is little sour in taste. Carbon dioxide is moderately soluble in water. Yes, it is not slightly, but more amount can be dissolved in water. Carbon dioxide neither burns nor supports burning, right? Carbon dioxide is actually uses or it has the property of extinguishes a burning fire. Yes, you must have seen the extinguishes, fire extinguishes. We use fire extinguishes when there is a fire, right? And there is a, a like red, red color bottle, metal containers you must have seen. You must uh, see in the school buildings, the offices, right? So when we press the nozzle of this fire extinguishes, carbon dioxide gas comes out. It is in white white powdery form and this carbon dioxide actually covers the that fire thing the things which is burning right it covers it actually ye zyada heavy hoti hai or as compared to oxygen when you will learn in the higher classes about the properties of oxygen the chemical properties and else you see that the carbon dioxide is more heavy than oxygen or wo bilkul blanket ki cover kar leti hai because it is actually carbon dioxide is not uh, supporting in burning and it is not getting burnt even so combustion to hai hi nahi hai aur ye isko extinguisher ki tarah aag bujhane ke kaam aati hai so plants and animals consume oxygen for respiration and produce carbon dioxide as I told you not only human beings. Plants even also consume oxygen but for oxygen consume karne se zyada oxygen hume de dete hai. So that is why they are known as the oxygen producer but unko bhi respiration karna hota hai, unko bhi glucose store karna hota hai, isn't so? So, respiration is being done in them as well. So, they also need oxygen for respiration and they are also giving carbon dioxide, right? So, plant and animal matters burns by consuming oxygen from the air and produces mainly carbon dioxide and few other gases. If some material is burning in a closed room, we feel suffocated. Why we feel suffocated? Because of the carbon dioxide. The excess of carbon dioxide that collects in the room as the burning continues. When it is burning something, we feel suffocated because of the carbon dioxide. Air contains only about 0.03% of carbon dioxide gas. That carbon dioxide gas present in the air is important for the green plants because photosynthesis can be done with the, the carbon dioxide only. So it is mandatory. Green plants need carbon dioxide gas to make the food in sunlight. Green. We all know the process of photosynthesis. Food is getting prepared just because of the Water, sunlight, chlorophyll, carbon dioxide, right? And food is made for human beings, for plants and for animals, right? Now the next component is water vapor. Now what is actually it? In water cycle, we have learned about the evaporation, then condensation, then the next process is precipitation. So, this is how water cycle occurs in the nature. So we have learned that air contains water vapors. We performed an activity in the previous chapter to show the presence of water vapor in the air. When air comes in contact with the cool surface, it changes into, it gets cooled and it changes into water droplets, means condenses and forms tiny Drops of water on the cool surface. Achha, uh, you can uh, do one experiment in the summer time. In the summer season, what you can do, you can just take out a chilled bottle from the fridge. 
right keep it for some time what you will see after few minutes what you will see you will see the tiny droplets on water on the bottle outside of the bottle right on the surface of the bottle how you will see this because the water vapor which is present in the air and when it uh, like it touches or in the contact with the cool surface it changes into water droplets right so wo fine droplets kya hote hain jab summer season when temperature is high hame man karta hai na ki hum kuch thandi thandi cheeze pee to take out the chilled bottle from the refrigerator keep it in the room right after few minutes only you will find the tiny droplets right so this is the condensation the presence of water vapor in the air is important for the water cycle in the nature this is because it is water vapor present in the air which rises high in the sky and gets cooled and form clouds and it is and it changes into the water vapor again water falls on the earth right the component of air is the dust particles yes the, the dust particles are also mixed with water how a number of sources such as blowing of wind traffic right traffic because traffic on the road dusting at room earth moving operations construction activities agriculture practices also कंस्ट्रक्शन होता रहता है रोड्स बनते रहते हैं सम बिल्डिंग्स आर गेटिंग कंस्ट्रक्टेड होम्स आर गेटिंग कंस्ट्रक्टेड और मॉल्स uh, भी बनते हैं रोड्स बनता है और भी बहुत सारी एक्टिविटीज होती हैं सो बिकॉज ऑफ दिस जब हम घर पे क्लीनिंग करते हैं यू विल सी हम डस्टिंग करते हैं डस्ट हमारी जगह जब भी सब कुछ क्लीन है स्टिल यू फाइंड थोड़ा बहुत डस्ट कहीं ना कहीं टेबल पे आ जाता है राइट right? so dust particles are also there in the air so presence of dust particle in the air varies from time to time and place to place we should never breathe in air through our mouth when we are breathing through our mouth so dust particles are also entering in our body we should always breathe through our nose why because our nose has mucus and tiny hairs into it that filters the dust particle these tiny hairs won't allow the dust particles to come inside the body that is why we should always breathe through our nose only it prevent dust particles from entering into our respiratory system now be careful while you are breathing always breathe with your nose right now smoke smoke is also mixed with air sometimes smoke is also present in the air smoke consists of fine particles of carbon yes these are there and smoke is produced mainly by the burning of fuels like wood coal kerosene petrol and diesel etc when we the transport the medium of transport right when we when the fuel is burning it is releasing actually carbon dioxide or smoke in the environment smoke is always harmful breathing in air containing smoke damages are held the tall chimneys in factories are installed why they are installed so that the harmful uh, chemicals or the harmful components like smoke and other things can stay away from us to take the smoke reduce in the factories are high up in the air as to reduce the harmful effect on the ground so now you got to know why the long chimneys are chimneys are installed in the factories now smoke is also emitted through the exhaust exhausted pipes connected to the engines of vehicles right it comes out traffic policemen who regulates the traffic wear mask 
to protect themselves from the smoke containing harmful gases right so it is also emitting uh, from the factories the smoke is emitting to the factories and from the uh, vehicles right so smoke is also mixed with air now air is present in soil right the animals living in the soil and the plants roots that is growing inside the soil need oxygen to breathe we know this thing we need oxygen for breathing plants need oxygen for we have seen the respiration i told you but in detail we will uh, learn about this process the chemical changes in the higher classes right so uh, oxygen is needed by plants as well it is needed by animals as well so it is mixed in soil as well right so soil has tiny particles some holes are there so air is going or passing through with it with these holes so they get oxygen from the air present in the spaces between the soil there are some spaces holes small small tiny holes the spaces are there and through the these spaces oxygen or air the complete air is going to it particles we will now describe an activity to show that soil has एयर इन एट हम कैसे पता कर सकते हैं कि इसके अंदर एयर है या नहीं सो एयर सॉइल ऑल्सो हैज सम स्पेस इन इट एंड एयर इज लाइक सॉइल ऑल्सो हैज एयर इन इट विद हेल्प ऑफ द होल्स राइट दैट इज प्रेजेंट इन द सॉइल राइट Now we can say that air is found in the soil, right? The air is present in spaces between the particles of soil right we'll find some spaces in this in the small the particles are very tiny so some spaces are there and through the spaces that the living organism that are the organism that are living in the soil like our frogs snakes also they burrow and they stay there right so they breathe or respiration from the air that is present in the soil whenever it rains heavily the animals living inside the soil have come out to soil to obtain air for breathing for example the earthworms comes out of the soil only during heavy rains we see the earthworms in rain rainy season why it happens because the organisms that are living uh, in the soil what how do they do how do they live they burrow under mitti mein bill bana lete hain they have their own houses in the soil and they stay there but what happens rainy season mein ab wo kya hote hain sare gadhe jo hote hain that burrows they are filled with water right so they come out for breathing they don't get uh, oxygen or uh, oxygen there for the breathing they don't get air for breathing and respiration and it is essential process which is taking place in our body so they come out from the soil many animals living in soil they burrows and holes deep into the soil these burrows and holes also make spaces available for the air to move into the soil so that it can be used obtain oxygen by the animals living there so we know that the roots of land plants grow in the soil and soil has air in it we got to know that soil air is mixed with the soil soil has some spaces in it particles have spaces in it and it uh, goes from these spaces into the soil it is mixed and when rains is there in rainy season all the living organisms come 
out for the breathing and respiration. So the roots of plants which grows in soil get oxygen for respiration from the air present between the soil particles. From this discussion we conclude that air in the soil is necessary for animals and plants that are living in the soil. So plants also need oxygen for respiration and roots that are taking this oxygen from the soil which is present there. So it is concluded that the soil also has uh, air inside. It is common observation that lump of cotton wool shrinks when we put this into water. So take a lump of cotton and it is fluffy right when it is dry. It is very fluffy and when you dip or uh, keep it in the uh, water, dip in the water, it shrinks. Why this happens? Because when it is dry, lots of spaces is there. So air is filled in it and when you dip into the water, it shrinks because the spaces the, that fiber has is gets expelled by water resulting shrinking. So oxygen mass nickel jata spaces se to wo shrink ho jata. So it is fluffy because of the presence of air in it. Right? Now air is present in water. We have seen air is present everywhere. We will see that air is present on land. It is even present in soil. Now we will see how it is present in water. The animals living in water are called what? Aquatic animals. The plants and living in water are called aquatic plants. We have learned about the aquatic plants and the aquatic animals in the previous chapter. The aquatic animals and plants live in water of pond, lakes and rivers. These are the sources of fresh water and seas and oceans are the sources of salty water or saline water. The water of pond, lakes, rivers and seas have some dissolved air in it and with this air only the aquatic animals and plants breathe. So the animals and plants which live in water use this air which is dissolved in water for breathing. Since air contains oxygen we can also say that aquatic plants and animals use this oxygen which is dissolved in water for breathing, some gases dissolves in water like carbon dioxide is there, oxygen is there. It is slightly dissolved, right? So the plants, the aquatic plants and the aquatic animals that are staying in water use this air for the respiration, right? So now air is present in the water as well. We have understood that how living things in water get oxygen. Water has some dissolved oxygen in it. The water animals breathe in oxygen which is dissolved in the water. The water of pond, lakes, seas, oceans, the plants that grow in water also use this oxygen which is dissolved in water. So oxygen is dissolved in water. Plants and animals are using this oxygen. Thus the oxygen is present in water too. Is there, if there were no oxygen in water, no living things would survive in water. That, means, that is why we say that animals and plants are present everywhere in water and land and air as well. Animals are there in air, the plants are not there. And, and the plants are present on land in water as well, right? So it is because of the air which is present in water. So how is oxygen replaced in the atmosphere? So in the presence of sunlight, plants use carbon dioxide and water to make food. Photosynthesis simply or photosynthesis and what they made. They made food and they release oxygen gas. Plants also consume some of oxygen for their respiration but they produce more of it when they consume it. We have already discussed 
That is why we say plants produce oxygen and carbon dioxide being used by them and being replaced in atmosphere. Right? So the animals and plants use oxygen for the air for respiration and give out what? They give out oxygen gas. The carbon dioxide goes back into the air. Similarly, the burning of fuels and by human beings, we also uh, takes in oxygen and gives out carbon dioxide. This is also getting mixed to the air and fuels. The carbon dioxide which is coming from the burning of fuels, it is also mixed with air. So, the carbon dioxide also goes back in the air, thus the animals and humans being continuously put back carbon dioxide gas into the atmosphere by the process of respiration and burning, right? So, the carbon dioxide, then it is used by the plants during photosynthesis and they are releasing oxygen in the environment, right? So, we are dependent on each other. And the interdependence, this is called the interdependence. Animals, plants and humans, how are interdependent? Now, the list, last topic of this chapter which is uses of air. Air is useful by human beings in many ways. Air is used for breathing purpose. That we have already known, we are hearing this since class 1. That air is used for breathing purpose. Air is used for burning fuels to make fire also. Oxygen is helping or supporting in combustion. But actually it is not burning itself. Air helps in movement of sailing yacht, gliders, parachute and Aeroplanes. Aeroplanes are flying because of the air. Kites are flying because of the air. Even birds are flying because of the air. Parachute. So, these are again flying because of the presence of air. Air also helps in dispersal of seeds and pollen of flowers from some plants, right? We have already understood what is pollination in the previous chapter. So, pollination is occurring because of the air. Air is helping in the pollen, send the dispersal of the seeds and the pollen grains, right? Air helps the birds, bats and insects in flying that we discussed. Compressed air is used to fill tires. Of various kinds of vehicles. We have tires and cycles, trucks, scooter, car, bikes, rides, even the swimming tubes, right? It is filled, it is actually the compressed air. Now, blowing air called wind is used to turn the blades of windmills. Windmills is actually uh, the, uh, it is being rotated, the V, the uh, it is being rotated with the help of the air. Air energy is being used and electricity is being generated with the help of windmills. The windmills is used to draw water from the tube well and to run flour mills. Windmills are also used to generate electricity. Now, air plays an important role in water cycle in Nature it is helpful in water cycle. Evaporation, right? Sab kuch hai. So, this is end of this chapter. Now, we call the points, main main points. Air is found everywhere. We cannot see it, but we can feel it, right? Moving air, what is this called? We call it wind. Air is present in soil and water too. And it is the mixture of oxygen, carbon dioxide, nitrogen, water vapor, other gases, argon, neon, right? And dust particles as well as present in the air. These are the components of air. Now, 
oxygen supports combustion and it is necessary for all living organisms plants and animals depend on each other for exchanging of oxygen and carbon dioxide we have already learned the interdependence of interdependence between the plants animals and human beings right air has mass and occupies space and exert pressure it occupies space right we have seen we have i told you some activities that you can do at your home you can fill the air into a balloon you can see it has weight you can check on the weighing machine it has weight it occupies space and it exerts pressure jab aap isko khologe to zoom karke gas bahar aa jayegi so it exerts pressure air has many uses yeah flying birds breathing plants burning paper sailing ships and etc the air is needed by them atmosphere is essential for life on earth obviously earth is the only planet that supports life in our solar system this because of the atmosphere so aquatic animals and plants use dissolved oxygen in water for the respiration now you know that difference between the respir uh, respiration and the breathing compressed air is used to fill the tires and the other kinds of vehicles so these are some uses of air now it's time for question answers first question is what is air around us it is called it is called the atmosphere what is the combustion of air air is like oxygen combustion means jalna the burning process the combustion means and air has some components like oxygen that supports combustion in combustion process oh i have told you the combustion process actually the question is what is the composition of air the composition of air is nitrogen which is 78% oxygen which is 21% and 1% is carbon dioxide water vapor dust smoke and other gases what is atmosphere the layer of air that surrounds the earth is known as atmosphere and the components of uh, atmosphere of air you can write down here list the importance of air we have discussed in detail you can write down on your own state any six uses of air again you can write down on your own what is the importance of water vapor in air water vapor is necessary uh, evaporation is being done and then condensation and then precipitation so it is necessary so presence of water vapor is necessary in the air why do mountaineers carry oxygen cylinders with them because as we go higher on the mountains so amount of oxygen is very less there so to and oxygen is needed by us for the breathing that is why the mountaineers carry the oxygen cylinders along with them so now what is smoke how is smoke produced explain why tall chimneys are installed in the factories smoke is actually the unburnt particles of carbon which is mixed in air so a smoke uh, produced by the vehicles and by the industries or the factories and to avoid this the tall chimneys are installed in the industries so that these carbon materials cannot mixed with air and actually the carbon is very harmful for all of us for all living things so that is why the factories are instructed to install the tall chimneys into it how will you show that oxygen is necessary for burning uh, there must be some activities like you can do uh, uh, the candle is there the candle is uh, burning it means you lit a candle and you uh, uh, take a tumbler and just uh, Uh, keep it on the burning candle, and after some time, it will stop burning. Why it has happened? Because of the 
oxygen with ball which got exhausted it was present in the tumbler and got exhausted and through which we can show that oxygen is necessary for burning why does a lump of cotton wool uh, shrink in water it is because the air which is present in the spaces of cotton wool right and when you dip in the water this wool it gets shrink and why this the air which was present in the spaces gets escaped of it right so this is why it happens so that's all for this chapter write it hope you have learned air and the concept is clear to you the difference between the respiration and the breathing components of air impurities in air the dust particles and the the percentage of different gases and why life is possible on earth what all are the uses of earth hope you have enjoyed the session right i will see you in the other classes stay excited for the clamp of our new right till then bye take